Welcome to PLZ Soccer. We're looking at the morning page headlines. I'm Peter Martin. And don't forget, later on at half past four on Twitter, on Facebook and on YouTube Live, uh, Alan Ruff will be joining me with Barry Ferguson. We'll be looking ahead to all the weekend's football north and south of the border. Uh, the back page is dominated yet again in the tabloids in Scotland with uh, Stephen Gerrard. And it's basically the daily record running with uh, Rangers are waiting on Stephen Gerrard to say yay or nay because the job is his if he wants it. Uh, this uh, has got a little twist in it though because uh, Craig Swan has suggested that Rangers approach Steve Clark to see if he'd consider taking the job uh, and apparently he said no. So it's down to Gerard. Does he want the job? Well, let's be blunt about it. Whether it's Stephen Gerard or anyone else, uh, quite simply, it's all about the budget that he's going to be offered by the Rangers board. Um, no matter what page, I mean, there's a five page Stephen Gerrard special in the Daily Record with a um, couple of what I call uh, Scottish noise ups um, about him being a Celtic fan uh, apart from being a, a diehard Liverpool fan also favouring Celtic but uh, you know that doesn't matter if he's going to get a job if he's deciding to take this job the key issue here and there are comparisons in the record with um, Graham Souness taking on the job now there's a complete difference. Um, you need to be from another planet not to understand the difference between Graham Souness taking over as a man who was a player at Sampdoria coming to Rangers uh, as a player manager. He was offered a king's ransom. He was paid healthily. He was also offered a lot of money in the transfer market. So the difference now is Rangers don't have that budget unless there's a huge investor coming in in the summer to give uh, Steven Gerrard, if he takes the job, um, a huge amount of money to try and stop Celtic winning the league next season. We don't know whether that's the case or not. Right now, uh, what we do know, the facts of the Rangers accounts, is that Rangers don't have a King's Ransom to give Steven Gerrard in the transfer market. They would need to uh, duck and dive and make sure that they are uh, recruiting wisely. He's a, a youth coach at the moment. He's learning his trade uh, at Liverpool. Can he come and cut it in the Scottish Premiership? Uh, will he take the job? My personal opinion is this is a huge job uh, to take on as your first job, especially if you don't have a huge budget to back you up on it. And he's, he's coming up against his old gaffer, Brendan Rodgers. That's just my take on it. You might think differently and think Steven Gerrard will come in and everybody will buy season tickets and there'll be lots of money for him. Well, you might know something different that I don't, but there's not lots of money at Rangers at the moment, let me tell you. Uh, there's also a little story there on Tom Rogic uh, hinting at a new deal. I have to hold my hands up about Rogic. A year ago, I thought he would be one of those players that would go out the door and there'd not be too much of a difference whether he stayed or uh, decided to leave. He's actually been a really good player uh, for Celtic. So this weekend, everybody's talking about Celtic against Rangers, a chance for Celtic to get over the line against Rangers. That dominates a lot of the tabloids and I would tell you right now, I actually think uh, Sunday's game, Celtic will get over the line and defeat Rangers. Um, elsewhere, uh, Derek McInnes is the manager of Aberdeen. They're taking on Hearts tonight at Pataudry uh, and he reckons three wins out of four could be enough to grab second place in the league. Um, I tend to share his view on that. Whether they can get it or not, I don't know. I think Hibs are going to make a late surge as well. I, I just fancy, I've always tipped Hibs uh, to be in the top three. I think they could steal one of the places. I might be wrong. We'll see how Aberdeen performed tonight against a heart side with not really a lot to play for. And again, it's up to you. Stevie is in the sun uh, and all these fantastic images of Steven Gerrard uh, as a Liverpool player. Um, and uh, obviously with the European Cup, Rangers' ambitions slightly different from that. Uh, Alex McLeish is talking about the thrill uh, as a former Rangers manager looking forward to uh, old firm games. And of course, let's not forget there are some fantastic images in all the tabloids in Scotland uh, of the nominees for the Player of the Year. Uh, no surprise that James Forrest, Scott Brown, uh, over and above that, John McGinn's in there. Chris Boyd is in there as well. What a season he's had. He's had uh, 21 goals for Kilmarnock. 
Great going from Boyd. Will he be in the running? I think the two early favourites uh, from the bookies, Chris Boyd and Scott Brown. Uh, but you never know. Uh, Forrest and McGinn could make a late run. There's the Young Player of the Year. I'm hosting the event at the Hilton on Sunday. Really looking forward to it. So it is indeed a gala occasion. In fact, uh, a little bit of up-to-date news, I think, coming through. Uh, it's just uh, an announcement of the Manager of the Year nominees. Uh, and I can tell you, if you're not in Scotland and you're watching this, then it's Steve Clark, Neil Lennon, Brendan Rogers, and Jack Ross, the nominees. Who's going to win it? In your mind, Saints fans might think Jack Ross. Uh, can you deny someone manager of the year if he's in line for back-to-back -back trebles? Interestingly, um, of course, Neil Lennon's done a fantastic job with a championship side coming up to the Premiership. So there you have it. That's what's dominating most of the uh, back pages uh, as far as the Scottish papers are concerned. Uh, as far as uh, down in England, of course, the Guardian and many others looking at the fairy tale that might not be ending the way Arsene Wenger wants it after uh, last night's 1-1 draw with Atletico Madrid. Uh, Diego Simeone has been linked with the Arsenal job. Uh, maybe it's still favouring the Spanish side because with a 1-1 draw at the Emirates, the return leg certainly has swayed towards the La Liga outfit, who are, uh, I think, 11 points behind Barcelona in the uh, league and just four ahead of Real Madrid. So... Who's going to win that one? There's a tasty game at the weekend between uh, Manchester United and Arsenal. Arsene Wenger, I think my abiding memory and image of Arsene Wenger will be standing at Old Trafford when he was sent to the stand with his arms open wide saying, where do I sit? Didn't have anywhere to go. He's going to sign off at Old Trafford. Will he be able to uh, actually sign off with a win? Only time will tell. Um, I think the hope from many Gunners fans is that he was going to win the Europa League, secure them Champions League and then maybe finish as high as they can in the Premier League in England but I don't think that's going to be the case uh, so there you have it that's the back page headlines you can give us your thoughts on that thank you very much to quite a few people who are now downloading the PLZ app and they are pressing video recorder if you get into Google Play go into the app store uh, and press on video record uh, the video reporter section record your message on video send it to us we'll drop it in if you feature in the show at half past four, then we will be sending a prize out to you. We'll be contacting you uh, and we'll be sending you out something if you're one of the lucky winners in our competition. So we'll be using some videos and if yours is selected as the lucky winner with a great point, then we'll send out a little bit of football memorabilia to you. All you have to do is download the PLZ app. If you want all the latest news, north and south of the border, European football and world football, then all you have to do is go to www.plzsoccer.com on your laptop and you'll get all the latest news as well. Uh, join us Facebook Live, Twitter Live, uh, and of course on YouTube as well. Uh, it's all on PLZ Soccer. Join us at half past four British time. Barry Ferguson and Alan Ruff will be alongside me. Thanks for watching.